electric vehicles and this is Pavan Kumar. Today I am here at Sikindrabad, Telangana state to know the full information and genuine ownership of latest electric vehicle that's Bounce Infinity E1. Now Mr. Aditya is with us to share his experience. Hello Aditya, how are you? Hi. First of all, welcome to our channel. So Aditya, is this your first electric vehicle or have you ever tried other electric vehicles? So I do have uh, Ola S1 Pro with oh. me, which I have bought a month ago. Okay. Then after you have purchased this? Then after that I have bought it. That means within two months you have uh, purchased two vehicles? Yeah. Actually I have a doubt, why you have ch shifted from Ola to this uh, Bounce Infinity E1? Uh, so Ola, actually we had a requirement for two vehicles. So okay. first we tried out Ola mm -hmm. and then we went for Bounce. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, actually I just want to ask you what motivated uh, you to uh, shift to electric vehicles? Rising petrol prices and uh, you know more comfortable and less pollution free. Yes, you are right. Actually, the company is saying that it has an IDC range of 85 kilometers. Have you ever tested the range? So yeah, I did test the range first day itself after mm -hmm. charging it for full. Okay. So I got a range of 72 kilometers. Mm -hmm. The company claimed uh, uh, IDC as 85 and on road as 70, but I got two extra, so that's good. Okay. And uh, the speed is somewhere around 65. Mm -hmm. And the uh, company is claiming 65. Yeah. 60 okay. is easily uh, easy going, but uh, 60 to 65 it takes a bit stress. Right. Okay. So with this vehicle, how many kilometers you have traveled? I have traveled around 500. 500 kilometers uh, till now. Till now. Okay. At exactly what price you got this electric vehicle? Exactly around 87,500 rupees, mm -hmm. including RTO charges. Including RTO. Yeah. Is it with subsidy or without subsidy? With subsidy. Without subsidy, mm -hmm. it goes around 1 lakh 8,000 rupees. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I have a doubt. Uh, have you purchased this on EMIs or only uh, uh, net cash? No, this is net cash vehicle. I did not purchase it on EMI. Right. As uh, EMIs are taking a bit longer mm -hmm. to do. At which showroom you have purchased this vehicle? So currently, we don't. Uh, bounce does not have any kind of showroom available in Hyderabad. They are okay. planning a show store mm -hmm. which will be up in around two months more. Yes. Right now, they, uh, the test ride location that is Lementary Hotel, they are still delivering it there. Okay, so you have pre-booked pre this vehicle no, no, no. online, then after they have delivered yeah. after paying full amount, right? Yes. yes, okay. Actually, this vehicle is available with with, uh, with battery and without battery, yeah. right? Actually, yes. we have an option for battery yeah, swapping. There are five six. to six options available. Okay, five to six options. Yeah. Okay, may I know what are the five to six so options? One is with battery mm -hmm. and charger. One is without battery with subscription of uh, some kind, wherein you have to pay a subscription cost monthly, <laughs> and uh, the battery charge will be somewhere swapping charge per okay. battery will be less. Yes. Then there is second subscription model wherein if you use it less, mm -hmm. then you can use that one. So depending on the usage, there are subscription models available, around five models. Right. You have clocked 500 kilometers with this electric vehicle, right? Yeah. Uh, is it performance good or not? So the performance is mm -hmm. up to the mark according to what the company says. Okay. So comfort level while driving is very good. Okay. So if you want to compare it, you can compare uh, the comfort level to riding a bullet. So right. the seating is the same, the handle is a raised one. So you feel a bit comfortable riding it. Right, okay. Actually, I have tested this vehicle once yeah. and uh, one of the safety concerns I have seen is uh, they have not given indicator buzzer, right? Uh, yeah. Is it comfortable to you? So that was the same question that I raised after test driving. Okay. One was indicator buzzers yes. and the second one Standing was the stand sensor. sensor. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, like uh, given a confidence that they will be updating it uh, using firmware Next and the sensor they have not given any clue about it yeah okay. so they took it as a feedback i'm hmm. not sure what they how much time it is taking to charge this uh, vehicle fully 100 uh, percent so from uh, if you though it is not recommended to go down to zero so hmm. if you still fully charge it around 2.5 two, two hours 2.5 hours, hours yeah. yeah is it 5 amp, char five amp charges they are providing no, currently they are giving a third party 15 amp charger okay third party one. yeah okay so uh, so the bad company that prepares the battery for these vehicles mm -hmm. is uh, giving a charger with it. Okay. So they are providing us with that 15 amp charger. So oh. the charger that Bounce actually has to give will be coming around in July. June, in July. June, July. Yeah. Okay. That that will be the company's one, right? Yeah, that is a 5 amp charger which you can use it normally. Yeah. Okay. And one more thing is this vehicle comes with a battery swapping option, right? Yeah. Have you ever tried the battery swapping no. in uh, surrounding so area? Currently in Hyderabad, we do not have any battery swapping facility as of now. Okay. So the company has claimed that around in three to four months they will start they will have around 300 400 shopping stations in Hyderabad. okay uh. and in bangalore it is already available hmm. and people regularly using it okay for this vehicle i think uh, food space is uh, very less right is it comfortable to you yeah actually it is comfortable because hmm. see i have tried almost hmm. uh, five to six electric vehicles before going for bounce yes 
So uh, in those vehicles, I felt this is very comfortable for me to mm -hmm. ride. Okay. Coming to the boot space, can we put our helmet in that boot space? So yeah, uh, with battery, you can add one helmet in the mm -hmm. boot space. Mm -hmm. If you do not, if you are not using boot space for helmet, then a small bag or some very little things can be used. Right. Right. Not like your regular petrol vehicles when you have a large boot space. Right. Okay. So while coming to the screen, I mean LED display of this electric vehicle, it's very basic. Yes. Right. Well coming, uh, well compared to the other vehicles That's which true. are available in the market right so it is uh, it is comfortable see the, the main use of having a display is electric displays it shows accurately what is happening around yes mm -hmm. so when you compare it to other like digital displays like mm -hmm. ola mm -hmm. it is a clogged up screen like you have so many features in that that even you don't use it so yes what is the use of having them there yeah so uh, it shows the range it shows the speed it shows the battery level it shows if your phone is connected or that's enough so mm -hmm. So that's enough for, yeah. for any electric vehicle yeah. so to ride. So uh, if you are riding a car, if you have a car and you have a music system in that, that is okay. But mm -hmm. in a bike, what is the use of a music system or yes. Bluetooth connectivity? Mm -hmm. Actually, in our Hyderabad, uh, there will be much traffic, right? Yeah. In that traffic, is it the pickup of this electric vehicle is comfortable or not? Uh, the pickup is good actually. Mm -hmm. Compared to any petrol vehicle, the pickup of this vehicle is mm -hmm. pretty good. Yes. So on, uh, if you compare a petrol vehicle to this vehicle, mm -hmm. add. Uh, at a course of time, if you run it, mm. the pickup will decrease. Yes, this, that, right. that is not an option. Uh, right. And one more thing, they have given uh, front disc brake and rear, uh, rear also. They have given disc, disc brake, brake yeah. right? Is it comfortable while riding the vehicle? So disc brake, as you know, are very responsive. Yes. So if you press them a bit hard or if you hold them a bit hard, they do tend to slip. Yes. And the only problem with this vehicle I have is the tires. Okay. Why? The tires, I kind of think they do not have that much of road grip because when I press the brake, there is no traction. You are saying, right? Yeah, the mm. friction is very less. Mm. So when I press the brake, it mm. kind of tends to skid. Okay. So that so is the main disadvantage. Here. Right, and one more thing, what I am observing is the seat is also is like slant. If you apply the brakes, uh, the pillion riders will come move. move uh, no, the seat right? has friction. Mm. The seat has friction. So when you sit, uh, you can sit comfortably. Okay, when we apply the brakes also, yeah. no one not, will. Move. Not a problem. Okay. So the only thing, uh, the one more thing that I see uh, there is a difference between Ola and this is mm. when you try to when you raise the bike. Okay. So Ola gives you kind of jerk. Okay. Sudden jerk. Mm. This does not give you. The mm. pickup is good, but there is no jerk at all in this. Right. Okay. In this vehicle, they have given three modes. First one is Echo, and the second one is powerful, and yeah. the third one is extra like uh, drag, drag mode. mode right? Drag mode. In Echo mode, how much uh, the range of this vehicle? I mean, speed of this vehicle. So in Echo mode, you get uh, around 38, 30. Is the maximum speed that it can go, mm. and in power mode, 60 to 65. It can go till 65. Right, and reverse mode is not available in this vehicle, right? It is available. Reverse mode is available. Okay. It is three kilometers. Speed is three kilometers in reverse mode. Mm. Have you ever tried this vehicle uh, uphill test? Uphill test, yeah. Not an actual uphill test, but yeah, while two two persons riding it on a flyover or okay. some uh, inclination, it goes well. Okay. It slows down a bit, but it climbs up. So okay. Not an issue with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about pillion rider comfort? Is it comfortable to sit and to go hold this grab hill? So yeah, when you compare to other bikes, this grab rail is not available and Ola, especially okay. if you compare, yes. the grab rail is very small. Mm -hmm. So pillion rider cannot grab it yes. properly. So it's not comfortable to sit? Uh, in that. This in this, yes. they have a quite comfortable. Mm, okay. And have you ever uh, travelled while it's raining? So yes, yeah, last week it did rain on Friday or Saturday. Yes, so yeah, I was travelling at that time. I mm. didn't find any kind of, uh, you know, issues. Vehicle stopping in mid between or anything, any issues of that sort. Right, okay. Company claims it to be mm. IPS 67 rating. Yeah. Okay, okay. That means it is a waterproof, waterproof. right? Water waterproof resistant. battery, okay. Yeah. Well, coming to the battery, uh, I think they have used a lithium ion battery, right? Yeah. What is its capacity? 2.2 uh, kilowatt. 2.2 kilowatts. Yeah. And coming to motor, is, is it BLDC motor hub? Oh, yeah, it is BLDC motor hub. Okay. What kind of uh, services that company is giving for us? So, company is giving us a door to door service mm. or an option for us to visit them at their location where they are okay. delivering it. Mm. So, depending on our feasibility, we can do it. Is it on road service available for this? Yes, vehicle? RSA for one year is free, after that, it is chargeable. Okay. Well, coming to the warranty of this vehicle, how much they are giving for this? So, currently, they are giving three years of warranty for battery as well as vehicle. Okay. And, uh, 
टू फ्री सर्विसेज फॉर वन ईयर ओके सो इज दिस सिंगल बैटरी व्हीकल और डबल बैटरी व्हीकल सो इट इज अ सिंगल बैटरी व्हीकल ओरिजिनली बट इफ यू वांट यू हैव एन ऑप्शन टू ऐड वन मोर बैटरी एंड द बैटरी विल कॉस्ट अराउंड 38000 एज पर द कंपनी राइट ओके यू सेड इट इट इज टेकिंग 2.5 हार्स टू चार्ज दिस इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल फुल एयर राइट सो फॉर दैट हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स इज कंज्यूमिंग कंज्यूमिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी समवेयर अराउंड 3 यूनिट्स इट इज कंज्यूमिंग ओके फॉर मंथ हाउ मच योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल इज गेटिंग करेंटली आई हैड इट फॉर अ वीक सो आई कैन नॉट टेल यू अबाउट this one yeah okay okay we'll coming to the suspension part of this vehicle is it comfortable because they have provided i think uh, coils and things such as yeah. for rear wheel and telescopic suspension yeah, for front, front wheel right correct yeah so front suspension is good hmm. but the back one does have some kind of squeaking noises while you go on some uneven roads okay so that i have already informed them they said that some kind of oiling and greasing is required okay once that is done the sound will reduce so it is not an issue with the motor uh, with the suspension itself but some kind of greasing or oiling problem i think no, so so within one month only you are getting that kind of problem have you informed this problem to the customer service so yes i did inform them they told me that they'll arrange someone to get, uh, get in touch with me okay or else i can directly come down to the delivery station and they can fix it within few hours of time right is the ground clearance of this vehicle is it comfortable to you while riding this vehicle so if the, normally we have speed breakers everywhere here yes so if there is a last speed breaker mm. not the normal ones right so the middle stand mm. just touch the ground right but normally there is no issue with the ground clearance yes okay have you ever travel on this vehicle with uh, some kind of uh, bottles uh, water cans uh, by putting them there yeah uh, normally yes uh, some kind of uh, uh, computer laptop desktop we do keep okay. them here and travel right okay this vehicle is having a plastic uh, plastic fiber or body right uh, yes. is it comfortable actually Yes, so no, uh, right now uh, i guess almost all petrol vehicles also have fiber body so okay. as fiber is lighter in weight and also yes. does not impact the speed so that is great option mm. so what kind of features they are off- they are offering with this electric vehicle features uh, app compatibility geo fencing anti theft uh, okay these are the features that we are regular uh, normally getting it with mm. it and then there is battery swapping which the company claims is the good feature right okay and i get to know that uh, standing sensor will be available for later versions and it can be updated with ota uh, yeah right? so the company claimed that uh, in the future ota updates will be getting a stand sensor right but uh, as far as i think the stand sensor is currently not present okay physically here yes. so i guess they will install it or we have no idea about that right okay. and you have already used the uh, ola and uh, these vehicles right yeah. So if I ask you which is a better uh, better vehicle uh, because you have experience right what do you say So in terms of comfortable uh, mm-hmm. and comfortable driving and uh, good features I prefer Bounce only Bounce okay yeah. in terms of speed and range mm-hmm. I might go for Ola but uh, the customer service of Ola is again bringing me back to Bounce right okay if I ask you uh, to rate this electric vehicle this Bounce Infinity yeah. and also Ola electric So how much do you rate Ola and Bounce? Uh, so Ola I will give three out of five and Bounce four out of five. Okay, why uh, why Ola has missed one? That's one star. Uh, Ola missed two stars for customer service and uh, comfortable uh, seat and the claimed range is very less compared to right. what Ola is actually claiming to be. So some we are getting somewhere around hundred mm. and Ola claims about one eighty. Okay. So there is a huge gap. Whereas Bounce eighty five to seventy not a huge gap. Right. Okay. So thank you Aditya. Thank okay. you. very much for your time and valuable information thank you okay mr aditya is saying that in terms of comfort and reliability he will choose this electric vehicle rather than other vehicles and that's all for now if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video go green go electric